Here we will explore true facts of the antelope. <laughs> And here we go, this could not be easier. Gloves to appease the food police. And our antelope, oh yeah. This knife needs some attention. Here we go, one pound ground antelope. All I'm gonna do is cut this into one third pound sections, just like this sections. Hmm, small. That was probably my son's. <laughs> All right. And as I mentioned, this could not be easier. We're just going to make one third pound patties. Be careful not to overwork this. No, definitely don't want to overwork the meat. These are not preformed. So, there we go. Patty number one. Put a little indentation in there so they don't turn into little. All of a sudden it gets noisier out here. Couldn't be any noisier out here. Grill grate. You'll see why. Well, I think you know why. A grill grate for an awesome sear. And these burgers that I have never tried before ever. But I'm not done yet. I've mentioned many times over the years, Mrs. Smoky Goodness is not as adventurous as the boys. So, let's just stick that there. By the way, I like to support local businesses. We're going to be supporting a couple of local businesses here. Even though I've never had uh, antelope before, ever, when these things are uh, ready to come off. I'm going to be using some mango salsa. This is from a local company called Papio Baskets and Gifts. They're out of Papillion, Nebraska. Yes, I pronounced that right. It's Papillion, not Papillon. I've been called out on that before, but haha, <laughs> no, I'm right. It's Papillion, not Papillon. But like I said, I think this is uh, going to go really good, or really well, on these burgers. Oh yeah. Look at that, huh? Looking good. Looking really good. Yep, quick sear both sides. We'll move them off for a few minutes. We're not going to overcook these either. This is wild game. Wild game is best. With pink in the middle. Can you believe the amount of noise that's going on out here? <laughs> All right, just a couple of minutes has passed. We'll move these off to the indirect side. A really nice char on them. A really nice sear. Oh yeah. All right, a few more minutes has passed. Looks like these things are tightening up pretty well. So, on goes the salsa. Mmm, salsa smells good. Like I tried to mention before, I don't know if anybody heard me or if I even spoke correctly, but I'm assuming that since this antelope is closely related to a lot of other critters that we like to eat around here, 
that some sweet salsa will go really good with it. It's an assumption, we're gonna test it. And also, you gotta have some cheese. It's freshly uh, shredded cheddar, or cheddar shredder. <laughs> Put a lid on this for just a moment, let that cheese get melty, and I'll toast up some buns here in just a moment. Last but certainly not least, toast up these, uh, these artisan French rolls, just for a moment. Right on the sear grate, or the grill grate. Voila. Oh yeah, looking good, looking good. Doesn't take long at all, does it? All right, let's build a burger, as Greg would say. This will be my son's. Boy, these things are so thick. Okay, that's the bottom. These rolls are so thick, kind of hard to tell. Which one's the top, which one's the bottom? I get a double. And that one's the bottom. And this one's the top. Double burger. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is, my first ever, whoa, there goes some cheese. I better hurry this up. <laughs> Damn it. Oh well, my cleanup crew will have something to do tonight, the little critters that come out here after I go in. So uh, how does it taste there, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy and World? Let's find out right now. Not bad, not bad. Very similar to elk, but with a, just a, I don't want to call it gaminess at all, but it's got kind of that, uh, that hint of, hey, I was once something wild running free out in the prairie, if that makes any sense or in uh, more uh, convenient terms, I wasn't raised on a factory or farm or anything. This is good stuff, I love it. Anyway, I hate to cut this short. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm dripping all over the place, dropping cheese, everything. I wanna get this in, get my sons in, and eat. All right, we'll see you next time. Mm. Mm. Good stuff.